Hello guys, I'm Betim Beya from Albania and Karen. I want to show you a new way to create NuGet packages which uh, contain source code. The old way was including your source code in the content folder of your NuGet package. And this is the one that I created for the demo. And the new way that I'm using is based on the build folder. If you include a targets file, in your build folder then it will be included in your project when you install your new get package also if you include other files they will just get ignored by new get but uh, what i'm doing is uh, in my targets file uh, i'm using a compile with an include uh, that uses this variable right here which is uh the same directory where this file is so this will get copied to the nuget package when we install it in our project now i'm i've created a simple console application where i will install our two packages the content based one and the build based one and we will see how it behaves so we open new get packages and we have only our two packages here because i changed the new get config of this project when we install the source based one the file gets copied which is th this file right here has been included in our package and it gets copied in our project locally and another copy is in our uh, NuGet package. So we are duplicating code. And this will get uh, committed in our source code, source repository. So we have a lot of duplication. When we install the other one, the build based one, uh, it has been installed. We don't see any changes down here but we can see in our project that we we have uh, some some changes because uh, since it contains a targets file then it will be included in our project what we can do is uh, uncomment these lines and uh, understand a little bit better uh, how this is behaving uh, now if i go to this one which is the build base one we don't have the file in our uh, project but it is included and if we see the path here it's in our packages folder it is going in our uh, nuget package and then in the build folder and it's the file that has been copied when this uh this project right here was packaged for nuget uh, let's execute our console uh, i have it in the other window okay and this is the output hello from build and hello from source version zero both of them now let's create another version of our packages I'm just changing the version everywhere so we can create the new packages. Now we can execute our PowerShells right here. I have to create the new versions. okay now i have created the new versions i want to commit my changes so i can see the differences when i upgrade my uh, packages consuming packages
now I can go ahead and upgrade my packages okay now I can I can see that these sources has changed and I have to commit it again but I see no changes in my other packages because uh, there were none in our source code no it was only the package was changed and we can see that the version of the package changes but not our source code so we updated to the newest versions and if we execute our program again different window again okay we can see that uh, these come from the version one the newest version but this can be modified so if i execute it again then it's version two and uh, the other file can be modified too but it's not with everyone you can modify your local copy but you can't commit it so it's not something you should do so if if i if i change this one then i'm modifying a file which is not part of my project but it's on a nuget package it should be a read only so this is the different the main difference let's say of this way of doing it